Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And before we get started, let me give a shout out to ST Crawlers. ST Crawlers was the first to say first in one of my recent videos. So again, congratulations. There's your shout out, ST Crawlers. Um, I gotta apologize, folks. My voice is still pretty scratchy, so I'm not gonna be trying not to go too loud with it, so uh, I can preserve my voice. Um, Last time I did this, I was down for two weeks So when I lost my voice, so I've got to be careful here. But what I got for you today is the Aurora A100. It is a little brushless motor quadcopter, pretty cool little brushless motor quadcopter. Um, what I like about it, folks, is it is a 1S quadcopter, capable of carrying a 1S, you know, a, being powered by a 1S battery. In fact, it, it can only be powered with a 1S battery. I know it's being advertised on GearBest as being 2S and 3S capable. It is not. I, um, I learned from experience it is not, as I smoked one of these already. This is my second one that I got from GearBest. And they still haven't changed the listing to say that this is not for 2S. It's 1S only. So unfortunately, uh, keep in mind, folks, this is only 1S. Now, it is a nice little brushless motor quad cupper with uh, 0705 KV 1500 KV motors. Uh, 5 amp ESCs, those 5 amp ESCs again cannot uh, withstand <laughs> 2S batteries, but uh, the ESCs are incorporated all in one on this flight control board. Now this flight control board is an omnibus F3 flight control board loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.0. And the stock PIDs on that Betaflight 3.2.0 are not too shabby, they actually fly very well. Um, additionally, it comes with a uh, 25 um, or 600 TVL 25 milliwatt camera. It's listed as also being 100 and 200 milliwatt. Um, I could not find any way to turn on 100 and 200 milliwatts, so I don't think that is quite accurate either. But you know, it's more than adequate. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day to hear today, and I'll, we'll get an example of how this works in low light today with uh, gloomy and gloomy flight days. Additionally. It's available in Free Sky, Fly Sky, uh, AFHDS, uh, and AFHDS 2A. I'm, I got the 2A version, and uh, DSM, DSM 2, DSM X. Uh, I will be flying mine using, again, Fly Sky version, AFHDS 2A, and using a, uh, my um, T8 SG all in one <laughs> transmitter. It's a great little transmitter, folks. I can't say enough about that little thing. I use it for all of my little micros when I go flying. Uh, what else do we got? We got a beeper on board this. Nice loud beeper, actually. And something else, else that's important, it comes with on-screen display. So we can keep track of, particularly of uh, the uh, remaining flight voltage. And that's what's something you should do since this is a little 1S quadcopter, keeping track, you know, what the voltage is. Now, what I had to do uh, out of the box to get this flight worthy for me is I've adjusted the flight control switches so I can have an arm switch. I like to have an arm switch. And also one other thing, I uh, configured the uh, on-screen display to the important parameters that I want, mainly <laughs> battery voltage. And also I went in and I lowered the alert battery voltage because the battery voltage comes on right away. This is set to 3.5, <coughs> excuse me, warning for battery voltage. Uh, you're gonna wanna lower that to about 3.3. That's what I set, and that gives you reasonable flight time with uh, a 1S battery, particularly this uh, 500 milliamp per hour battery that, I'm, that I've been using, this generic one. Now, you could probably get even better flight times than I get with this, and better performance if you go to get a higher performance battery than this. This is only a 30C battery. There are higher C rating batteries out there, so keep in mind that uh, the performance you see with this today is with the cheap generic battery, and you could probably get a lot better performance with better batteries, so keep that in mind. So let's go for a flight of the Aurora A100 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, first off, we're going to start off with a uh, line of sight flight, just to see, show you it up flying up close. Uh, when you arm this thing, arm it and wait till you hear a secondary beep. Don't try to take off before you hear that secondary beep. We are ready to go and should be ready to fly. So let's bring it up close. First thing I want to try is punch. <laughs> for a little 1S quadcopter, it has punch. And just now, here, here how that really wears out that 1S battery. You know, keep in mind I'm using a cheap little generic battery, but notice when I land, <laughs> that goes away. You know, that's the sag that you get from these cheap little batteries. Now that's a 400 milliamp per hour battery. I'm going to be flying um, Acro here shortly with a slightly bigger battery, 500 milliamp per hour. 
hopefully that will give us better performance. But yeah, not too bad. A lot of power in this little thing. But again, it's sucking the power big time from the battery. Okay, let's switch batteries here and go into Acro Flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Again, I apologize for my voice today. Still got laryngitis there, a strange voice. But uh, let's see here. Let's put it into Acro and arm the, the motors. Again, we're going to wait until we hear that secondary beep indicating we are armed. And let me adjust my lens, make sure it's good. And let's take to the air and see how this performs. Now, it's a dark, gloomy day today. First thing first. Can it do that? Yeah. A little brushless 1S that can do that. Let's go back up again and do that. Can do that. <laughs> so, you know, not too bad. Let's go zipping through the, the trees first. Can we go zipping through the trees? Oh well, yeah, kind of, yeah. Now, keep in mind, I lowered the, uh, the voltage for warning down to 3.3 volts. Let's see how much range we can get out here. Not too bad. Now it's a gloomy day here. 3.3 volts will, will be the warning when I start receiving warning from this thing. This is actually is not bad a little flyer for a 1S. Not super zippy because it's it is a 1S. Let's go over the top of these. <laughs> but actually not bad. You know, this would be a great little intro to brushless uh, 1S, brushless quadcopters. Uh, that little generic battery is actually giving me quite a bit of flight time here. <laughs> I'm surprised. It's only a little 30C battery, but it's doing well. It's getting ready to drop below 3.3, so it's going to be warning me. But what I'm going to do, folks, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that uh, transmitter is only 25 milliwatt transmitter. Now, keep in mind, they advertise this thing that it's 2,500 and 200 milliwatts. Here, I couldn't find out how to turn on 200 milliwatts on this thing at all, but I really doubt it has 200 milliwatts. <laughs> there we go, a little battery. Now what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to land it. Let's bring it down and see if I can get it close to the pad. Let it sit there and watch. See the voltage sag? It goes back up to 3.7 volts. So I can actually probably take off again and get some more flight time. Let's see if that's true. What do you know? <laughs> so, yeah, no, not much more flight time though. There it goes back to low battery again. So we're gonna believe it here at this point here. Bring it back in. So I got a little over two two minutes flight time out of this thing. Let's take it easy and see if I can squelch out a little more flight time by just flying easily. And that's an artificial warning there. I got it set to 3.3 volts, but it doesn't seem to be dropping off yet. So I'm going to take it easy here for this last part of the flight. Take it easy and go. <laughs> we'll call it quits there, folks. Ah, close enough. <laughs> so. Actually, this is not a bad little quadcopter, especially for being a 1S quadcopter. I rather enjoyed flying it. Please take the hat from me, hon. So that's the Aurora A100. Nice little quadcopter. Um, let me check these motors, nice and cool. They are nice and cool. So, you know, running on this 1S battery, you are not going to hurt it. Again, keep in mind, you cannot use 2S batteries in this. Uh, if you do, you will burn out the flight control board. <laughs> there are actually the ESCs on the flight control board. I know from experience, this is not my first A100. I had to complain <laughs> to GearBest. Now, I, again, apologize for GearBest uh, listing this as being capable of 2S and 3S batteries, but again, it is not. It is 1S only. And again, I was just using a gener little generic 500 uh, milliamp per hour battery in this, and I got pretty good flight time, pretty good flight out of it. So, hope you enjoy this flight, this Quadcopter 101 with the Aurora A100, signing out.